afternoon. Welcome to the John. Uh, good evening, everyone. Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, so, look and welcome to the John Smoking Show, episode nine out of one hundred. I was the first one hundred days of Crazy Joe's presidency. Yesterday on Sunday was Super Bowl Fifty Five. For uh, Buccaneers versus um, Chiefs. Uh, the Buccaneers got 31 and the Chiefs got 9. Um, I supported the Chiefs. I'm glad that the Chiefs won. Uh, uh, the reason why uh, I like the uh, Tampa, I wanted the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers to win is because Trump lives in Florida, first of all. And Trump uh, also has an office in Tampa, in Tampa Bay, so that's why uh, I wanted Trump named uh, Tampa Bay to win uh, today, I mean yesterday. So I'm glad that they won. All right. Let's, I'm going to show you the photo. Can everyone see that? All right. 31 to 9. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad that they won. So I guess Trump won too, I guess, in a way. You know. But that's good. Okay. Let's talk about something that I found uh, lit on. Um, uh, uh, Sunday. There's a meme that I found, breaking news thing that I found that says, that's a Tom Brady. It says, after Joe Biden picked Patrick Mahomes, so for Tom Brady, Buccaneers crush uh, Chiefs in the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, Joe, I guess I didn't notice until yes last night. It says that Joe Biden picked Patrick Mahomes, which is, Patrick Mahomes is on the Chiefs over Tom Brady, which is on um um which is on uh, the Buccaneers, and the Buccaneers ended up beating the Chiefs pretty bad. So <laughs> I, I think I thought that was funny. When I saw it last night. So yeah. Another thing I saw. Is this. Another thing. It says Kama Harris. Niece. Mina. Mina. Join media. The other leftist. And mass shaming. Shaming. The greatest of all time. Tom Brady. I guess Tom Brady, when he got his award, he wasn't wearing a mask. So Kamala Harris's stupid niece decided uh, to shame, uh, shame Tom Brady for not wearing a mask, which I think that's ridiculous. And he wasn't even close to anyone, so you know, I think that's ridiculous. That's pretty uh, horrible to me. That, uh, that's kind of rude. That Kamala Harris was niece, didn't it? So, oh well. Um, this uh, episode will be short today because I got not, uh, not, not much to talk about today. I found another thing today, uh, one of these days, recently in the Florida city. I mean, Florida, Florida City declares first week of February Donald Trump week. Donald J. Trump week. So next year, in 2022, the first week of February, all week of February, the first week of February, I'm going to be celebrating President Donald Trump. That's what I'm going to be doing on the first week of 2022 because I didn't know it was Trump week until now. So 
Next year. No, next year for sure. And every single year. Every single year I'm going to be celebrating Trump on the first week of February. That's what I'm going to do. One last thing before I go tonight. I'm sorry that it's a short episode. I got nothing much to talk about. I, ha I can't really find much to talk about on Sunday. Uh, but on Tuesday, you know, Wednesday, well, on Wednesday, there's going to be more to talk about. So. And on Friday, too. Um. I'm going to show this on Wednesday, too. This says, Joe Biden wishes he can... Joe Biden wishes he look this bad, but... You know. And there's Trump. He looks awesome. Look at that. He looks so... He looks so... Uh, yeah. Uh, he looks so wonderful. He looks so fierce and so strong. Yes. And Slippy Joe is so weak and so boring and so old and should go to a nursing home, but, you know, oh well. We can't do that. So, I wish we could do that, but we can't. I don't know. Um, I want to show you something that I found also on Sunday. With the wonderful press secretary, Kevin McEnany. I want to show you something. Thank you. I want to show you something about Super Bowl. So, you thought I would be talking about the ugly press secretary, Jen, no, I'm not talking about her, I'm talking about the old, press, uh, the former press secretary, the one, one and only, Kaylee McEnany, so, yeah. I'm going to show you something that is good, yeah, That's something great. Okay, I, I can find, it's on Facebook, I'm trying to find it here, I'm sorry. Come on. Oh, here we go. She's posing with a cardboard cut out of Tom Brady. Well, East, uh, comma, hit me. Oh, sorry, comma. I, I, East, uh, Kayla McEnany supports Tom Brady, but comma, Harris' niece and Joe Biden does not. But I'm glad that someone, the wonderful post of theater that we used to have, supports Tom Brady. <laughs> Oh, I'm just having fun. I'm just being sarcastic. Um, so thank you guys. And that's all I have for today's episode. Sorry that it's a short episode today. I got not much to talk about. But I'll see. I'll talk more uh, on Wednesday. So I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.